Hi, everybody. Um, good morning. And you're all very welcome to the Ford National Drugs Forum. Um, it's the first time that we've met in person since 2019. Uh, we've had a full, we have a full day, so I, I won't keep it too long. I, hope. I just want to do um, a few thanks first before we start. I'd like to thank the Department of Health for their, their, their support again um, on, on the National Drugs Forum. Uh, in particular, the staff in the Drugs Policy and Social Inclusion Unit and uh, the, the Office of the, the Minister for, 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 for for drugs, um, and I, I'd like to, to thank Minister Fian as well for being here. He's um, he's opened um, a few webinars uh, and a few events for us uh, over the last uh, two years, and we're very pleased he's here today. Um, thanks to, to to all the speakers, um, and particularly those who've had to travel um, um, a long distance. I hope you enjoy your your stay in Dublin. And to the chairs, um, thanks. Um, um, I think especially Eamon Keenan, Professor Eamon Keenan, who, who <laughs> uh, um, um, had a very short notice. Uh, so just to go through the events today, just a, a couple of housekeeping things. There, there are two exits just outside this door to the right, the first turn to the right and second turn to the right, um, and the toilets are out there as well. Uh, the, the assembly point is at the point up of, but these, these are things I have to, uh, have to mention. In front of you, you all have a copy of the programme. Uh, there are a couple of changes on that, and I'll go through that briefly. Uh, and you also have a copy um, of issue, uh, issue 83 of Drugnet Ireland, uh, which is um, hot off the press, so we're delighted to um, have copies here for you. Uh, it's a quarterly, so if you can do the maths, it's, uh, it'll be 21 at the next issue, so that's, that's um, a long time. Um, there are, on each table, there's uh, one copy um, of, uh, of, of, of four, um, had to be publications that we published during 2022. Please bring them home with you. We don't want to bring them back with us. I mean, they're, they're excellent publications. We're very proud of them. I think it's good. Um, it's a good illustration of the, the work that we have been doing. If you look at the programme, uh, there's some slight change there. Fortunately, the, 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 the Dr. Sarah Morton happy with us today. Uh, we're going to the Time for the coffee break was 11.20, so it's put back to 11 o'clock, okay? But we come back from coffee at the same time. And that'll give you an opportunity to go and see the poster presentations. We have um, uh, um, um, a really interesting mix um, um, a early career um, and experienced researchers from um, a number of institutions and from... Uh, so, 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 I was with services too. Um, the post presentations will be done um, on special interactive um, screens. No more blue tack. This is um, really, <laughs> they look great, I have to say. So uh, please do take the opportunity to go and see the post presentations. There are two parallel post presentations. That was the only way that we could fit them all in. It'll give you a good sense of what research is currently been done, uh, and um, we'd like to, to encourage these early researchers, you know, especially to try and uh, uh, develop careers in this area. So please do. And if you see the poster presenters from the day, please go and talk to them, ask them about the poster, and they can give you a, um, a brief run through of that as well. Um, Okay, um, there, there's one person I wanted to thank above all, and it's Rachel Tobin. She's um, um, kept all the uh, kept 
Um, I've played spinning uh, over, over the last couple of months and has done um, a brilliant job. Um, Chilla has worked closely with uh, Gillian Markey um, in our comms unit. As I say, she has kept all the plates spinning, and, and, and if any are broken, I've dropped them. So, <laughs> so, so it's a lot. Uh, oh, Rachel. Okay, so I'd like to to introduce Minister Fian. Again, as I said, he's been he's been um, quite supportive of the um, um events and webinars over the last couple of years, and we're really pleased that he's here today to open this forum. Uh, so, Mr. Fian. Uh, thanks very much, Brian, and good morning, everybody. And it gives me great pleasure to be with you today to open the fourth National Drug Forum, which is organized by the Health Research Board. Uh, my name is Frank Fian. I'm a TD. Uh, uh, for the constituency of Sligo Leitrim, North Roscommon and South Donegal. And uh, it was great to leave uh, early this morning from Sligo to come up here at half five. I know it's half five because my colleague, uh, Councillor Rosalind Grady, could tell me she passed by my gate at the same time, so it tells you how small Ireland is as well. And it's great to see so many people coming here from all over <coughs> Europe and indeed uh, all over the, the country and uh, f further afield. And Paul Griffith, um, I see you came in from Portugal, and um, he tells me the weather is much better. But <laughs> it's nice to see the rain this morning come into Dublin, because when you come from the northwest, it rains an awful lot more than it does in the east coast. And to joke in Sligo that it says, uh, if you can't see Ben Bulban, which is a local mountain, it's raining. And if you can see it, it's about to rain. So it's much busier. So following restrictions that have been in place in recent years, I'm delighted that Today is an in-person event, and it gives us all the opportunity to meet each, each other, make connections, and share experiences. And I think you'll all agree it's great now to be here in person after being on. I think this is my first meeting uh, to, to attend in person, so I think it's great to have it. And the good news is that uh, we don't have to wear pyjamas bottoms anymore, that we, we can um, just wear full suits. The National Drugs Forum provides a unique opportunity to reflect on drug trends and policies from a national and international perspective, with the involvement of stakeholders from government, state agencies and civil society. One of the strategic priorities for the remaining period of the National Drug Strategy is to strengthen evidence-informed and outcomes-focused practice and policy. The theme of this year's forum is directly relevant to this priority, building research capacity, knowledge for a safer future. The forum will explore how findings from research can inform the development of evidence-based practice and policy for the betterment of service users. As well as being an integral part of the National Drug Strategy, the forum informs our contributions to the EU Drug Strategy and Actions Plans. I therefore want to welcome the five European speakers at today's event. And in particular, I want to acknowledge the presence of Dennis Huber, Executive Director of the Council of Europe Pompidou Group on Drugs Policy. Ireland has the presidency of the Council of Europe, and it is fitting that the Forum has a strong engagement with the Pompidou Group. I also welcome two of the authors of a recent Council of Europe publication on implementing a gender approach in drug policies, prevention, treatment and criminal justice Karine Mutahai and Sarah Morton, you're very, very welcome. The focus on gender and drugs is relevant from an Irish perspective, as you have an established a women's health task force to put a greater focus on improving women's experience of the health services. And women who use drugs face particular issues, and policy and services must be sensitive to these. I also welcome speakers from the European Monitoring Centre for Drugs and Drug Addiction, and research bodies in Italy, France, and the UK. The forum is also relevant for another reason. As you may know, the government is establishing a Citizens' Assembly on Drug Use in 2023. And this will be a very significant event in the development of drug policy in Ireland. 
To inform the work of the Citizen Assembly, I've advocated that the voices and perspectives of people who use drugs and of young people who are affected by drug use are incorporated into deliberations of citizens' assemblies on drug use. To this end, I've commissioned a consult consultation project to collate with the views of young people on how drug use impacts on their lives and that of their families, friends and communities. These views will be presented to the Citizens' Assembly for its consideration. Today's session involving people in research and policy is therefore very, very timely. A third theme of the forum is monitoring drug use and impact, and it is recognised that the effective policies and response to drug use must be built on solid evidence. Ireland is developing innovative monitoring projects to provide timely information, expand our knowledge of the drug situation and anticipate further trends. The evolving drug market is a major concern due to the emergence of new, more potent substances and the proliferation of stimulants that are both high strength and adulterated poses huge risks. One of these initiatives was a back-of-house drug monitoring programme at the Electric Picnic Music and Arts Festival. And the pilot project provided invaluable information for research and monitoring purposes to inform health-led responses and to reduce drug harm. And as far as support these initiatives, I allocated a quarter of a million euros in Budget 2023 to expand drug monitoring and analysis. I also allocated 250,000 for the rollout of the interagency drive model to tackle drug-related intimidation and violence. To conclude, I want to thank everyone for your attendance today. And it is important that the people leading the response to drug use are aware of the knowledge that comes from research, have the opportunity to discuss it and can consider how best to use it in practice. Your knowledge, insights and expertise are essential to this analysis and the National Drugs Forum is an important conduit for this discussion and knowledge exchange. I hope you have a fruitful and positive engagement at the forum and I look forward to hearing the conclusions of all your discussions. Thank you.